Do you like cooking? Are you really good at cooking? Can you cook different types of amazing and delicious meals like me? Is that a joke? <laughs> you find it very difficult to tell others about your cooking. You don't know what words to use to explain to others how you cook, what type of cooking you do to create your amazing meals. You don't have to worry about that anymore because in this video, I will tell you 20 words you can use that are related to cooking and other words that you can use to talk about how you cook. And some of the words are fairly new. Even if you speak English as a first language, this video might be quite helpful to you. Number one is air frying. Air frying. Air frying is a new method of cooking. Air fryers were introduced to the cooking world around 2010. Basic air fryers work by moving hot air around the machine to cook the food. Temperature settings range from 160 Celsius to 200 Celsius. Cooking time is reduced by around 20 to 30 percent. Apart from the quicker cooking times, air frying also reduces the need to use as much oil, with popular foods like air fryer chips tasting just as good when air fried as deep fried. Air fryers are not just used to fry chips you can actually make lots of different foods in an air fryer. You can cook chicken nuggets and even a whole chicken in an air fryer. Number two, baking. Baking. Baking can cover a wide range of recipes, including breads, cookies, and cakes. Baking is probably one of the oldest cooking methods, as well as one of the most common a dry heat is used in baking, usually in an oven. However, you can also include recipes such as pasta bakes, lasagnas and baked potatoes under the baking category. You can bake banana bread, you can bake scones, you can bake cupcakes and you can bake shortbread. Number three, barbecuing. Barbecuing. When the sun's out, or in the UK mainly not, we love to bring out the barbecue and quickly go to the shops to buy up any burgers and sausages we can get. Barbecuing, as we know it, is the cooking of food outside on a barbecue, either by grilling, smoking or roasting. The actual barbecue itself is either a purpose-built appliance or a home-built brick barbecue. Whatever barbecue you use, one thing is for sure, it's the perfect opportunity to enjoy a social gathering where food is the most important thing. Number four is blanching. Blanching. Blanching is more of a food preparation step rather than a complete cooking method. The reason for blanching an ingredient includes to soften it, to prepare it for freezing, and to make it easier to peel. Commonly used when preparing tomatoes for cooking. You can blanch tomatoes, almonds, and runner beans, as well as other fruits and vegetables. The method for blanching food involves putting the ingredient into boiling water for a short time, or sometimes oil, usually when deep frying chips. Number five, casseroles and stews casseroles and stews. Casseroles and stews are a very practical way to cook a meal as they can be prepared ahead of time and left alone for a long time while they cook. The slow cooking time means that cheaper and smaller cuts of meat can be used as they will become tenderized and soft during the cook time. Popular casseroles and stews often include winter stews such as beef, chicken and lamb casseroles with lots of root vegetables and rich stocks added in. Number six, dehydrating. Dehydrating. Dehydrating dates back to early civilizations 
as a method for keeping fresh and extending the life of food by removing the moisture and stopping the growth of bacteria. There are different ways to dehydrate food. Electric dehydrators, even dehydrating and air dehydrating. Popular foods to dehydrate include fruit, vegetables, meat, herbs, beans, grains and sauces. Number seven, Dutch ovens. Dutch ovens. Dutch ovens are adaptable cooking pots with the ability to cook a variety of different meal types at different temperatures. Dutch ovens are heavy and are usually made from cast iron. You can make the following in a Dutch oven. Soups, stews, casseroles, roasting, frying, and baking bread. Number eight, fondues. Fondues. Fondues originated in Switzerland as a way to prevent the waste of bread and cheese during the winter period. Traditionally, fondue is a social way of enjoying melted cheese by dipping in chunks of bread. But fondue isn't just melted cheese. You can also enjoy a chocolate fondue with some fruit or marshmallows dipped in. You can also have fondues by dipping raw meat chunks into hot oil and cooking it before dipping it into a sauce or dip. Number nine, frying. Frying. A method to cook certain foods in a shallow pan called a frying pan and a little bit of oil. Foods that are fried usually include bacon, eggs, pancakes, onions, sausages, eggy bread and omelettes. Frying is a quick and tasty way to cook foods, but keep an eye on how much oil you cook with. Number 10, grilling. Grilling. Grilling is commonly used for cooking meats, vegetables and some fish. The food is placed on a metal grate that tends to be placed over a baking tray. Most ovens come with a grill included as standard. When food is grilled, the fat usually drips down to the grill and into the tray below, making it a healthier method. Next one is my favorite, microwaving. Microwaving. People have varying opinions about microwaves. Some like them, some don't. Many kitchens include a microwave because they are easy to use and they are good for cooking foods quickly, as well as reheating and defrosting meals. Microwaves are great for speed cooking, particularly for vegetables, as the quick cook time helps to retain their nutrients and texture. You can microwave soup, beans, broccoli, a whole chicken, and even pasta. Number 12, poaching. Poaching. Poaching involves cooking food in a hot liquid, usually water, stock, or milk. Poaching is most commonly used when cooking eggs and fish, as well as some fruits. Although fruits are usually poached in wine, sugared water, or any sweet liquid. You can cook poached eggs. Number 13, pizza ovens. Pizza ovens. Pizza ovens have grown in popularity in recent years as people try to eat outside more often. Pizza ovens are powered by gas, charcoal, or wood and come in various different sizes as well as price tags. Before I continue, just remember that I upload regularly on this channel. I make videos to help your English, to help you with your vocabulary, grammar. I make videos on different interesting topics at different levels to help you improve your language and enjoy the process. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and especially don't forget to press that bell icon because it will remind you when I upload a video. Number 14, pressure cooking. Pressure cooking. Pressure cooking is becoming popular once again since being very big in the 70s and 80s. But the pressure cookers of today tend to be electric and usually included in a multi-cooker that offers many different cooking methods. A pressure cooker works by cooking food within a high pressure steam environment with cooking times being much quicker than other methods. 
Pressure cookers are normally used for cooking beans, pulses, stews, casseroles, as well as rice and whole meat joints. Number 15, Raclet Grill. Raclet Grill. The Raclet Grill is another popular cooking style that originated in Switzerland and makes for a great way to enjoy food at a dinner party. A raclette grill consists of a cooking surface usually made from ceramic stone where guests can cook their own food to their liking. Ideas to cook include meat, fish and vegetables. Number 16, roasting. Roasting. Roasting is a popular cooking method. You've probably heard of the Sunday roast dinner. All those incredible delicious roast potatoes and parsnips. Roasting usually involves coating the meat in some oil before putting it in the oven. Roasting vegetables before adding them to a soup is also a great way to enhance their taste. You can roast sweet potatoes, some lamb or a whole chicken. 17. Slow cooking. Slow cooking. Slow cooking is a very popular method for making a wide variety of recipes. One of the many positives of using a slow cooker is the ability to prepare a meal at the beginning of the day and then come home to the amazing smell of your cooked dinner. Slow cooking is often linked to stews and casseroles, but slow cookers can be used for a wide range of recipes, making it a very useful kitchen appliance. You can slow cook beef stew, chicken casserole, and my favorite, chicken curry. Mmm. Number 18, sous vide. Sous vide. Sous vide sounds like a really special cooking method that you would only come across in a top restaurant. Once upon a time, this would have been true as it was once only used by professional chefs. However, in recent years, sous vide has become more popular with the general public. But what is sous vide? It is when food is sealed in a vacuum sealed bag and then cooked in temperature controlled water. This means that the food is cooked in temperature controlled water without coming into any contact with steam or smoke. The constant temperature means that the food is cooked to perfection every time. Popular food that are cooked using a sous vide machine include steak, fish, chicken and pork. Number 19, stir fry. Stir fry. Stir frying is one of the quickest methods of cooking. Stir fries are a Chinese cooking method and usually involve ingredients cut into similar sizes including meat, noodles, vegetables, and spices cooked in an oil. And typical stir-fry recipes include stir-fry beef, pork, chicken, noodles and fish which are cooked in a hot wok. Number 20, steaming. Steaming. When steaming, the ingredients don't usually physically touch the water but are cooked in the steam of the hot water. Typically vegetables and fish are cooked in this way and steaming them helps to retain their nutrients, flavor, and juices. Vegetables and fish aren't the only foods you can steam. Puddings such as spotted dick and Christmas pudding are often steamed. Practice with the language you've learned in this lesson. That is the best way to learn. For example, you can say, I love roasting a whole chicken and boiling vegetables. Or you can say, I really like slow cooking. I slow cook chicken casseroles all the time. I fry food a lot. I fry eggs and sausages. I use a pressure cooker to cook food. I microwave my prepared food all the time. You can leave a comment below and tell us about how you cook. What is your favorite way of cooking? Leave your comments below. I will see you again very soon. Until next time, goodbye.